I received another question on 3D sketching, and that is, how do we do stuff that's non-planar? Hopefully this is an example of something that really doesn't follow planes very well. This would be, you know, a coil that has a higher surface area than maybe a straight up spiral helical coil. Uh, so how do we make something like this using 3D sketches, and what else can we use to help us when we make 3D sketches? Let's cover it now. In the new part, environment, let's go to the XY plane. And I'm going to make a simple sketch. And of course, this is a 2D and not 3D sketch. We'll give it a length of 2.5. I'll give this a linear pattern here. We'll go with 6. And I'll change direction. All right, from here, I'll deactivate the sketch, get on my YZ plane, and I want to make the same sketch with one difference. I'm going to go with vertical here. I want to make this 0.25 off the origin, and this still, of course, 2.5. We'll deactivate. And then I'll go with a linear pattern. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side for my YX plane. Again, with one difference. This time, 0.5. Deactivate the sketch. Last time. And now I can linear pattern. And now I can start a 3D sketch. Now take a look at my 3D sketch. Now that I have some pre-existing sketch elements, I have all of these references, hence these little dots here, that I can use to my advantage. And also, I didn't explain this in the last video, but I can define a coordinate system and I can choose, say, a plane where I want the X uh, axis to be and where I want my origin to be. And I can make my own arbitrary uh, plane system if I want to, arbitrary coordinate system if I want to. But that's, that's something uh, that you can use if you need. For now, I'm going to go with a spline, and I'll just take this to the center of my line here, and then choose the end of my next line up, and the center of that, and so on and so forth. Now with that spline done, uh, that's a pretty cool 3D pattern that we've made, so we'll deactivate the sketch. And then I can actually define a plane by a sketch and I can choose what percentage along I want it to be, which of course I'll go with zero. For, on this plane, I'll activate a 2D sketch. I can make a simple sweep profile. Maybe I'll be a little bit more interesting and make a hexagon. Make that horizontal. And from here to here, to here I'll be 0.1. Well, I'll go with... Uh, 0.05 actually, a little bit smaller. We'll do a sweep. We'll choose a path object here. And there we have kind of a cool uh, little thing that we've got. So that is a way that we can deal with non-planar elements really easily. So one of the things about 3D sketches, if it's too complicated, see if you can break it down into simpler things. In this case, instead of trying to define this whole spline in a 3D environment, 
let's make a bunch of small definitions in a bunch of 2D environments and then use that uh, to make quick and easy references. So if you have something that goes non-parallel to planes, that is my suggestion to you. I uh, hope it helps and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the Libre channel. We'll see you in the next one.